Okay, but we can but we can still set the scene. Scott, Scott says hello from Regen TV. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, Sally Aldis reporting here for Regen TV <laughs> from sunny Larrakia country. <laughs> Yesterday at the SER 2023 uh, conference, my highlight of the day was the symposium hosted by the Assisted Natural Regeneration Alliance and they were showcasing the works that they've been doing in the South America, Southeast Asia regions, um, in, especially in tropical restoration. I was very inspired by their works. Uh, just following, following on from that, um, the Alliance is like looking to seek partnerships and sponsors to, um, to progress um, three, three working, three regional areas to um, support working group and I guess there was, uh, uh, we, we're aware that the SER also has uh, an assisted natural regeneration uh, stream running um, and so these two organisations seem to be running in, um, in parallel. Uh, yeah. Mm. So my um, my highlight from yesterday was a talk from a PhD student. L -l 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 can't, mm, can't remember the name. Can't remember his name. I, did, I was not there. No. Anyhow, on, on fungi, the 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 role of fu fungi in eco in ecosystem uh, success, and his take home messages were really. Um, just grab some leaf litter from the um, existing area and distribute it over the new area to encourage uh, uh, fungi and mycorrhizal growth in any plantings. Great. Uh, probably one of the things that I went to was about um, you know cultural burning up in sort of Aboriginal land, um, and they had impressive maps because I like maps, just showing the cha changes over the years from the sort of drastic, you know sort of hot fires burning that destroyed everything now coming down to a you know big areas of sort of cultural burning and making a big difference and and how can we get this to move along a bit further mm. signing out